Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about multiple assignees in Jira. If you have been using Jira for some time or you have just started using uh, Jira, I'm sure you know about uh, this uh, assignee concept where you can just have one person assigned to the Jira issue at any given time. You can't really have two people assigned or working on the same Jira issue. So that is something fundamentally not possible in Jira. And uh, that is how Atlassian built uh, Jira at first place. And there are a lot of people who want this feature. They actually request on community regularly that we want this feature. We want this ability where uh, we can have one Jira issue assigned to multiple people at the same time. So in this video, I just want to talk about uh, how you can achieve it and uh, uh, what are some some workarounds to have this uh, behavior. So first of all, uh, of course, there are multiple ways of doing it, but I'll probably talk about the most uh, sensible way of doing it. Uh, and uh, I'll probably talk about uh, the ways that uh, will uh, help you in uh, achieving a requirement. So what you can do, I mean, I'm just talking about the first possibility. You can have, of course, uh, one Jira ticket uh, and you can use the concept of subtask. So if you think there is an activity that needs to be done by one or two people, maybe more people, you can basically create a subtask and that is uh, one way of doing it. And each and, ev each and every subtask can be assigned to different users. So that is possibility number one. Uh, there is also another possibility where you can have uh, a custom field, a group custom field, where uh, you can uh, use that field to signify that uh, this group of people is uh, working or responsible on uh, on that particular issue. So that will somehow solve your problem, but uh, you need to, of course, do some more customizations. You need to pos you need to potentially also uh, modify your uh, notification scheme. So whenever that particular uh, group custom field is populated, maybe you want to notify that group of users. But in that case, you also need to make sure that your group is always up to date because in Jira, group can only be created or modified by your Jira administrator. So if you think you have limited set of groups and uh, people under that particular uh, group or, or in those groups won't change regularly, you can uh, definitely uh, use that uh, custom field. But you need to know about uh, these uh, uh, overheads of maintaining that particular uh, uh, group and, of course, users in those groups. Of what else you can do? You can, uh, so these are, of course, the two most uh, common approaches. But depending upon your requirement, if you want to do a bit more, maybe you're using Jira for ITS and maybe you're using Jira service test. In that case, uh, uh, what you can also do, you can probably create uh, uh, maybe a separate queue and you can monitor that particular queue based on, of course, the different parameters. Maybe there is a ticket raised for a specific type of incident. You can, of course, create a separate queue for it <clears throat> and you can have uh, people monitoring that particular queue and whoever is free can uh, pick that particular uh, queue, uh, pick that particular ticket. So that will somehow work, but you can't really have uh, two people working on the same ticket at the same time. Uh, you still need uh, uh, to use uh, maybe a subtask or maybe a group custom field. What what people also do, they also use Insight, uh, which is uh, a very good solution for uh, doing asset management in uh, in Jira, service desk, and of course in Jira, if, you, if you're using Jira with Insight. And uh, you can, of course, uh, create your schema in uh, Insight uh, based on different configuration items. And whenever people are raising tickets for a specific configuration item, you can have uh, uh, you, you can have an attribute like team. And within that team, of course, you will have different uh, users. So based on the configuration item that people are selecting when they are raising tickets, for example, when someone is raising a ticket based on, uh, let us say, uh, your, your printer is not working or maybe a specific uh, type of hardware is not working, that particular team field can automatically be populated on your Jira uh, ticket. Uh, it could be an incident, it could be any type of uh, ticket that you are using with your Jira service test. And uh, uh, that particular information is actually stored in your Insight uh, schema where you have uh, 
your configuration items and with each configuration items you will have different mappings of uh, different teams and within those teams you will have different uh, uh, users so this is this is another another approach but i would say the most uh, common and the most sensible way of doing it is uh, using using the concept of subtasks and uh, maybe you can also use the group custom field uh, that will also somehow solve your problem so in this video i just wanted to share this uh, this uh, workaround for achieving uh, multiple assignees in jira and i hope uh, this was useful thank you very much Thank you.